The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. There are many different types of lung cancer, depending upon what it looks like under the microscope. Now, we generally classify these into two broad categories. The one is called small cell lung cancer, and the other is called non-small cell lung cancer. Now, depending upon which type you have really guides what type of treatment you would benefit from. So it's really important that we accurately diagnose which type of cancer you have. Whether lung cancer can be detected early is really the billion dollar question. Now, two years ago, I probably would have said that we could not detect lung cancer early, but thanks to the National Lung Cancer Screening Trial, a study which incorporated 50,000 patients, which was released last year in 2011, we now know that screening for lung cancer using CAT scans on an annual basis actually can decrease the mortality by 20% in these patients. Now, which type of patient benefits from this is really the question. Now, the screening trial looked at high-risk individuals, so those patients that were aged 55 to 74 and had a heavy history, heavy history of smoking and who were either currently smoking or had just recently quit in the past 15 years. Now, the treatment options for lung cancer really depend upon what kind of lung cancer it is. As we had mentioned before, there are two different types of lung cancer, non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer. Now the option for the best treatment option for non-small cell lung cancer in its early stage is really surgical resection or removing the tumor from your body. Sometimes we also recommend chemotherapy or radiation therapy for these patients as well. If the cancer is more advanced, oftentimes we do not recommend surgery at all, but recommend that patients undergo chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Similarly, for small cell lung cancer, um, we typically recommend radiation therapy and chemotherapy for those patients as well. There have been many new advances in the treatment options available for patients. Uh, in this day and age of really personalized medicine and genetics, we are now able to do an analysis of tumors and determine their genetic makeup. And depending upon what that genetic makeup is, certain patients may really benefit from certain drugs over some other drugs that patients could receive. We hope you'll join us soon for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.